chapter 2 Second first breath Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration. Obviously, I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? What? She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? I'm... I'll just ignore you. Hmm... I can see you're very tired and sleepy. That's perfectly normal. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. Earlier on we did a CT scan and it shows there's no permanent damage to your brain. All your organs are fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Take care, Susan. Yeah? Please, don't try to speak. I didn't say anything. What did you say? What? You're ridiculous! Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Oh, okay. Thank you, I guess. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Just wanted to say you're lucky. 
I think, and that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Bye, Lise. Um, you talk a lot, don't you? That's fine, I guess. What music's gone? What? The hell? What are you doing to me? Oh god. Please? Bad dream. Um. Ignore? Um, no. Uh, yeah, it was kind of bad. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? I was kind of burnt alive at the, by that thing that's up there. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on ten litres of oxygen, through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. Well, I really don't think you should have told that to me, but, um... Okay... What happened to me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm, and then... I... woke up here and saw you. I woke up here, and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a I daughter. I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. When will they let me go home? When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Professor he will X. ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Alright then, so I have to... Go talk with Professor X. That's troublesome. Hmm. How long have I been here again? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute. But they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward, because all the patients who come here, 
want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. God damn it. Tell me about yourself. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Alright, I'm sorry, Liz. Tell me about this Dr. X. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left, and I never saw her again. Now why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about, and we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Well then, we have Professor X, who uses his mental powers to get information out of you, and who smells weird. Probably a blood and roses like President Snow. Anyways, um, did you see this thought of mine? Did you see this? daughter of mine. No, sorry Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you, but then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? 
maybe. Well, thank you for all your information, Liz. You sure talk a lot, but you're kind of a nice person. I'm kind of tired now, though, so... I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. <laughs> but do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right then. Um. The, actually, um. Very well then, Doctor X. I'm ready to talk. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Well... Should I answer from myself or from what I think? Susan's childhood would have been like... Well, personally, I had a great dad. Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him! How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Let's see... Well... I had a wonderful mama as well. I can't complain. My mum was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. Oh, uh, I'm back here? I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Is that so? Lie down. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. Fine then. A clock. 
needles are stuck at ten. Oh wait, it's probably broken, or maybe it just needs new batteries. Well, god damn it! It's full of latex gloves, three different sizes. I don't know why could I want this, but um, take a handful of it. Yeah, that will eventually work for something. Sink. I'll just leave the water running for no reason. It's not my house anyways. It's a list of drugs for patients in Sidon too. I guess that's me then. I mean a lot of sedatives it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock out, knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Flowers? A bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. I'm not a big fan of flowers either. I'm allergic to them. It's kind of troublesome. Smell? I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. Fine, jeez. I'm guessing you won't like to take them anyways. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. I don't particularly have anything against those, so... It's a list of drugs for patients in Saturn 1 and some notes. According to this, her name is Anne Burton, 35 years of age. She's taken lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it, of it all, she's taken methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the world. Serum 2. They must be keeping another Swiss little nutcase in there. Well, I guess San Burton isn't here, huh? I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. Okay. Don't need more gloves, I guess. Turn the water on again, for no reason. Mm -hmm. What's this direction? It's a toilet door. Go in. Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. Guess so. By the way, what the hell is this? It's a clip on hospital wristband. It's got my name, date of birth, and hospital number on it. Well, goddammit. Let's go left then. This oh, I need one of these to get out, don't I? It's a discharge letter for Anne Burton, currently a patient in side room 1. It seems she has admitted her herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Take? Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. What's wrong with you, lady? Those glasses are ugly. I bet she thinks those red rimmed glasses make her look attractive. Well, they don't. They're ridiculous. I know her kind all too well. Com all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close minded. Alright. Talk to her? Uh. Is Liz here? She's kind of. Is Liz here? Nice, sir. And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. 
I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? No. It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? You aren't doing anything. You're just looking at your hands. Jeez, you're terrible. I feel much better now, you know? Can you please discharge me? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? God damn it, Professor X. I'd like to go home now. Seriously. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. You're not doing anything! You, all right? God damn it! Can I make a phone call? I don't know who would I call, but... It'll work to pester you a bit more, right? Can I make a phone call, please? Oh. Yes, of course, but the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Screw you! Oh, what's good is folders? Patient files, balled up on the desk. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry, are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Alright, that lady's a jerk. I can't stand mess. Um, what about you, gentlemen? Excuse me, where's the exit? Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Um... I'm... I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. God damn it, people. So everyone's jerks in this place. Uh, what? This must be the patient from side room 2. God, doesn't she look confused? She doesn't look very good. Um, hello there. Another suicidal little patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Does she really? I guess she kinda looks like you, but younger. Hi. Are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's Mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well, 
What is my mother's name? Hmm. Uh. Joanne, Mary, Elizabeth, Mandy, Sarah, Alice, Anne Burton? No, she is Anne Burton. I don't think she's called the same than her mother. Well, Mary, maybe she is. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Fine. I guess I'll leave you alone. Can I use the toilet now? Do you examine? It looks like it has it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. Search? Why could you? I don't think they'd be useful in any way. Please stop writing messages on the mirror while we are currently experiencing diff difficulties difficulties made maintaining high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the heart the ward tidy. Okay. Whoa, that mirror is creepy. Um, hot water. Um, fine. I'll just wait for the steam to go up, I guess. Open lid. Look at It's rather filthy. Flash. Oh, eel. Alright. Do you want to use the toilet? I've, th I've dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Oh, God. I did not need to see that. God damn it. Won't you clean up yourself? <laughs> well, that's gross. Okay, flush. Well then, eel. Hmm. Is your mother's name eel? I don't know what kind of name that is, but... Jeez. No, talk to. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Well, there isn't any with an eel in it. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Well then, I guess we still have to do something else. Um, what do I do now? Um, what's with this? Oh. Um. Someone is coming. God damn it. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. I pressed it by mistake, sorry. Uh, I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. Look, I'm a nurse. I have a lot of paperwork to do. We're doing our best here. It's not my fault that suicidal fruitcakes like you come here and scratch and piss on the bloody walls. Hey, don't speak to me like that. I'm not suicidal, and I'm not a fruitcake, and I didn't scratch anything, let alone pissing on the walls. 
Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can Why? you please tell me your name and your date of birth? I'll have your name. I'll have your name, so I can make a big fat complaint. There is no need for that attitude. First, you were being disruptive when I'm just trying to do my paperwork. And now you are threatening me! Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. Now, forget that silliness and let me have a quick look at your wristband. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, alright? I don't want to take that shit! Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill! Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? God damn it, let go! What now? Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Wh what? I look awful. Oh, jeez, my hair's a mess. Um, Sha? The hell's Sha? Oh, God, this place a mess. It's like when you switch to the mirror world in Silent Hill Origins. Jeez. I kinda like it though. Oh. God. Maybe I don't like it too much? What's that thing? Narcotic heart? What? It's so hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Can't go that way. Okay. I guess I'll just go to my room then. Oh god, this place is trippy. Um, lie down. You don't feel very well at all. Um. Are you all better now? The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. Good. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Yes, you do. People here are crazy. Oh wait. Sha... Plus at Il... Sheila? If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Yeah, Sheila. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. Right. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Something's wrong with this place. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Uh, right?
Are you all right? Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know. They said I can have it, you know, yeah. So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me, the one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear, if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy. That's all. God damn it! What's this little treat? What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it. I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> It's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying. I think we're all dying. I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him. Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. What? Um. Feel like sharing? What's your name? Feel like sharing. What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. Well, that sucks. My treat, my red stuff. It's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could just one more time. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know. What are you talking about, Anne? God damn it, girl! Oh yeah, then I could use her discharge letter to get out. Hmm? How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? That's stupid. Sure. Yeah, I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I, I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing, something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to you later, yeah. I'll talk to you later, yeah. Yes, go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. Poor girl, indeed. Well done. 
I guess we gotta go piss off that nurse in order to get drugged again. Alright. Hmm. Mirror? What's with the mirror? I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large chart of glass is lying on the side. Take it. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. Okay. Um. Very sharp. Good. Good, good. Um. Yeah, let's go call that nurse. Make her angry and then. Go get the red stuff. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh, is that so? Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? You should remember my name. Jeez. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. You do want to get better, don't you? Now, let me have a quick look at your name band. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, alright? Fine. I need it anyways. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Alright, so... Go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. We go that red tear of pure happiness, and uh, now we gotta go get the red stuff for Anne, right? And this place is creepy and reminds me of Silent Hill somehow, but that's alright. We just gotta go get some drugs from the father's heart. Yeah, use it. What do you mean? Just get the red stuff. You're ridiculous. Um, gloves. Okay. Glass chart. Guess so. Alright. You stop the heart and now. Yeah. Drug. Trinket? I've had enough drugs already. Drinking this could probably kill me. What is it exactly? And how did I get it? It's a it's all a bit blurry. I can't remember much. Is that so? Well, let's just go back to sleep and keep this to end. Hmm. Jeez, you look awful, Susan. Go get some sleep. You kind of hit your head with the bed. Well, all better now. Let's give this to Anne. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. I know, Susan. And that's why we're, we're giving the drugs to Anne. Um, no. Just give her the red stuff. I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. 
I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Now I have any spend. I'm Jennifer Burton. Good. Now we just need the discharge letter. Mm. We gotta get this jerk out of her desk, right? So I gotta ring that bell. But how do I ring the bell and don't don't get trapped in the process? That's kind of a problem. Hmm. Flash. Mm. Gloves? Quite heavy. Maybe that will work? Guess so. Perfect. Now let's go call that stupid nurse. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! Again? I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Well, guess I'm not the first one who tried to do that. At any rate, let's go get those papers. Yes, that's exactly what I needed to finally go home. Good. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, alright. I didn't realise you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Alright, I'm out. Good. Storage room. Locked. Employees only. Locked. What's with those pictures? Whatever. Time. God damn it. 